بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں السلام علیکم پاکستان لاسٹ ٹائم وی وار ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی آبلیگیشن ٹو امپلائیز ان گڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو ود دا سیم چیپٹر فار اے ویری سمپل ریزن دیٹ دس از اے ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ ایسپیکٹ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ گڈ گورننس ٹوگیدر اینڈ اگین دی امپلائی از اے ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ اسٹیک ہولڈر ٹو دی ہول آرگنائزیشن ایکچولی دا بیک بون آف اینی آرگنائزیشن دی امپلائیز موٹیویشن دی امپلائیز abilities, the employees' competencies, and also the employees' objectivity to ensure that the organization runs properly and optimal and also in profit, these all depend upon how the employer or the organization is treating them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we look at the obligations, then humane treatment is very important. Employees as their first customers and above all as human. and friendly, healthy, and competitive environment for the workers. So again, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is that the real first customer of an organization is not the ones who are buying the product, but are actually its own employees. And that is what we say are the internal clients. So the employee is the internal client, while the people who are buying the products are actually external clients. And secondly, a very important thing is, is that humanity and to be humane is a very, very important aspect of administration and of governance and then to create friendly healthy and competitive environment for the workers to ensure that the environment is conducive and enabling to ensure that a worker is able to exhibit and come out and execute his own inner competencies and also knowledge that he or she has and that all of it can be honed on to the betterment and the performance of the organization is extremely important now The next thing is that, ladies and gentlemen, it's also very important to make the employees participate. So there should be participation by all the genders. The particip participation needs to be informed and organized. That means it should not be random. It should not be scurrilous. It should actually be focused. There should be freedom of association and expression uh, also. And then uh, one should also be able to organize them as a civil society. So, All of these different aspects of participation become very important. And it is the responsibility of the organization to create such an environment that the employee can then participate at multiple levels. And that is extremely important. And then we also talk about empowerment. Management must have the freedom to drive the enterprise forward. Empowerment is a process of actualizing the potential of its employees. So just like in, in Maslow's hierarchy, we talk about physiological needs, we talk about safety needs, we talk about social needs, we talk about esteem needs. Now, an organization is actually a family, is an ecosystem of people working towards one particular objective. It's very important that all of these are taken care of by the organization, but also the fifth level of Maslow's hierarchy, which is self-actualization, which basically means that a person is empowered to fulfill and materialize his or own ambitions. And also in that journey, ensure that they can give the best to their organization. And that creates a win-win situation. So empowerment actually creates a win-win situation and ensures that the company excels and the employee is able to uh, exhibit and implement his or her best within that particular organization. And that is the type of relationship we actually need within organizations. Empowerment unleashes creativity and innovation throughout the organization. It vests decision-making powers in the most appropriate levels in the organizational hierarchy. So let me tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we earlier talked uh, in the first chapter about Kaizen, and that is continuous improvement through small steps. It's a Japanese philosophy. Now, the Japanese basically believe that decision-making should start from bottom up. That means the grassroots workers and employees should be given opportunity to take decisions related to whatever work they are doing. And then as they, we keep on going up, up to the topmost level, there should be proper decision making. And that can only be done through empowerment. So empowerment actually unleashes creativity and innovation and also ensures that the employees feel an ownership to the company and to their own ideas. And that enables them to contribute in a better way. And not just as machines, but as human beings, as organic beings, as beings who can think, who can create, who can innovate. and make a better change for the organization. That is extremely important. And with all of this, it is also very important that there is equity and inclusiveness. 
A corporation is a miniature of society, just like I was mentioning earlier, whose well-being depends on ensuring that all its employees feel that they have taken it and do not feel excluded from the mainstream. So, just like I was saying, there has to be cross ownership. The 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 employee and the management own the company, and the employees are the backbone of the company, and they should be made, honored, dignified, respected. In all of this model of ensuring that the employee participates, owns, and gives his or her best for the organization, and that is done through equity and inclusiveness. Now, this also requires all those groups which are vulnerable to be given opportunities to improve and also maintain their well-being. So, all of this is very, very important, and it is like a, a two-way channel that the company ensures that it is giving a wonderful environment. and then the employees participate to their best and to their maximum thereby optimizing profitability and performance now besides that it is also very important that a, there is a participative and collaborative environment equal opportunities are given for all levels of management and decision making and in collaboration it's basically working and ensuring peace and harmony between the different working community and the management which in turns bring higher productivity higher profits and higher market share so again ladies and gentlemen just to sum up this chapter when we take care of our employees our employees will take care of the organization when we ensure that their fundamental needs are met the employee will ensure that the fundamental needs of an organization are also met when we give empowerment decision making ownership equity and fairness then the employee gives his or her knowledge competencies values and whatever they have within them for the organization this leads to a win win situation a better working environment and better circumstances for the employee and higher profits higher profitability higher market share and better performance for the organization and that is the way forward thank you